Last time on Strip Search. Really? Oh my god, there's a blindfold. I'm totally, totally disoriented. What's going on? The house is awesome. Shit, look at that. We're next to a lake. I have no idea where we are. I don't want to go home first. I don't even know what to expect. One of you won't even last the day. Win or lose, this is going to be fucking awesome. <laughs> Let's all get to know each other. We're gonna play a game called Fax Machine. Some people call it Telephone Pictionary. We call it a lot of fun and also total madness. Man, really? Icebreakers? In the game of Fax Machine, every strip search artist must come up with a unique phrase and write it in their notebook. Then they pass their notebooks to the next artist, giving them two minutes to try and draw that phrase. The notebooks are passed again, and the next artist has to write a new phrase based only on the drawing the previous artist provided. As the notebooks move around the circle, new phrases and drawings are added by every artist. The game will help the artists warm up their drawing hands and size up their competition. I played it with my friends a few times. None of them are really, well, some of them are artistic, but none of them are like serious cartoonists. So it's gonna be really interesting. <laughs> so let's, let's go around the circle one at a time and you can share your books with us. My very first phrase was kayaking into dinosaurs on Easter Sunday. So uh, I guess we got this out of that. It just kind of, yeah, that works. <laughs> Everyone's really friendly and I'm really excited. Oh, someone named this dinosaur by name. A sauropod decided to take her egg on a surfing adventure? <laughs> I don't know what a sauropod is. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Too much dinosaur knowledge. <laughs> yeah, I, I, did, I didn't know what that was. I am really, really slow when I draw my own things. So this like high speed dictionary drawing is just gonna be like I just have to not care and just go at it. Maki guessed the first monkey meets the first lava flow. <laughs> <laughs> Once I got started, I'm like, yeah, this is this is actually hilarious and really fun. <laughs> We've got a monkey with like burning buildings in the background. It's the apocalypse, and he's thinking about swimming. I was really nervous to be around all those people and then to actually have a nice little icebreaker um, it was, was really nice. So I started with these boots were made for walking and then Amy drew a lady with some fancy boots on. I'm really excited that Erica Moen's here. I love her. When she walked in I definitely like, threw me off my game because I didn't expect her to be a real 100% pro, like a comic pro here. Abby responded with this chick in some hot short shorts fucking love these rad new rain boots. <laughs> these rain boots were seriously rad to a major degree. degree. This kind of snapped me out of being super scared and uh, was like, no, no, look, drawing's fun. You like this, they're okay. <laughs> I'm drowning and I have a shitty accent. <laughs> <laughs> I like all the other artists so far. Um, that may change over the next few weeks. So mine was uh, Nancy Drew and the mystery of the Just Friends spooning. Um, from that, Abby. Yes. Abby got um, some clearly Just Friends spooning. Somebody's confused. I started with the giraffe didn't like his blind date. Yes, with the lion because the lion was polyamorous. <laughs> then we got to this lovely picture <laughs> by. Ty. I for some reason, read that as ambidextrous. <laughs> Competition's gonna be gonna be stiff, but wouldn't wouldn't be very fun if it wasn't. How dare you be ambidextrous, Lion? That's disgusting. <laughs> Keep that in your pants. Alex wrote, someone didn't order the vegan option, and then Maki drew 
this, yes, a pig, some vegetarians. Perhaps in the beginning, I might have been a little too, <laughs> a little too vague in the interest of giving people a lot to work with. Uh, I put a uh, doc brown dyes. It's it's a, it's gonna be a sad one, probably. Maybe not. Maybe we'll go to dinosaurs. Probably will. So yeah, we we have. He's being quartered. He can't. Tell. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I, you I, drew Doc Brown being quartered. <laughs> You're like, what do you think? He you, goes you, back in time. He could go back to where they quarter people. Yeah. That is dark, sir. It makes canonical sense. It was just good to see where everybody was at, and it was also kind of like a anxiety breaker. Like everyone just sort of relaxed and talked about it. Nixus, I do not crave a raven in the cave. Said the me. <laughs> <laughs> the crow does obviously not know the wizard's position on crows, though. Max says, the bird doesn't know why the wizard thinks he's gross. <laughs> God damn it. That's so awesome. It's like a duck. <laughs> All right. And then Monica's like, wizard is mad because his duck is sick. Called it duck sick with a cold and pooping a lot. <laughs> And Lexi was like, no, stop that bad. <laughs> I played this game plenty of times. It was kind of a staff meeting game and a job I had before. It's a game that I love. So I wrote, uh, I can't believe I never thought of this before. Yeah, no idea what's going on. <laughs> yeah. It was the first one and I'm like, how am I going to draw something fast? Trying to cram out a drawing in two minutes based on a, a statement that you're seeing for the first time is really tricky. Men bidding on a taste of a giant chicken. I forgot to write leg. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I was rather confused. <laughs> Mine was, my bladder is a steel trap. I'm like a pea ninja. <laughs> Tavis, we have the pea ninja. And there's, I think, is that a steel That's trap? That's a steel trap on top of it. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> steel trap. And then Mac wrote, Ninja discovers toilet fire in the employee bathroom. <laughs> then uh, Katie drew the ninja discovering the fire. People were sort of like taking more creative twists with, uh, with what they would write in their descriptions. And that was kind of funny. Simple ninja throws the key of eternity <laughs> into the fiery bowels of a flaming poop can. <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Done. I think everyone was a little bit tense because of the time and because, you know, they were probably knew that they were being judged on some level. Um, but at the same time, I was too far in to, you know, start worrying. Monica wrote, uh... Yamaka wearing person bathing in fire, <laughs> which <laughs> sounds dangerous. But they look pretty relaxed with it. Um, nothing like a calm fire shower after a hard day's work. It was great to see everybody kind of, uh, not under pressure, but working fast. Doesn't look quite so calm <laughs> here from Amy. I'm slightly intimidated because they're extremely skillful, every single one of them. So we'll have to see how it goes with the first challenge. Alex wrote, you get in the shower, but instead of water, um, searing gravy comes out <laughs> at some point. Oh, sweet Jesus! <laughs> I kind of wish I had been a little more creative with my, with my answers, but I'm used to like playing with people who can't draw. My phrase was Skeletor's blind date didn't go so well, and Monica drew a sad Skeletor. It's very sad. A ghost who was stood up for a romantic dinner for two now has to drink alone. The girls are really scoping each other out, um, and I'm not sure who yet, but. I'm pretty positive, like, my big trouble, it's not gonna come from the guys, it's gonna come from the girls. <laughs> it was just good to see where everybody was at, and it was also kind of like a anxiety breaker. Like, everyone just sort of relaxed and talked about it. And... Mackie says, Wrath of Pac-Man, <laughs> Act 2, Scene 3. <laughs> Pac-Man's Revenge, Rated R. And, uh, <laughs> Drew, just that. I'm not usually uh, in such like a high stress environment playing that game. And um, the girl Abby next to me kept saying like, oh, I'm really good at this. I played this a bunch of times before. Um, and even though I had a feeling maybe it was gonna be a challenge, I just didn't really wanna like shoot my whole wad on the opening game. Okay, so how was that? <laughs> <laughs> Look like you were having a blast, Alex. Yeah, definitely, God. Like, Die Hard Pac-Man was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> was there someone who stood out that you thought did a really Really made that fun. Yeah. 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 Alex's prompts were always very entertaining. Yeah. <laughs>
All of Maki's drawings were hilarious. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, I like Maki's phrases too, how he would add a number, like, <laughs> for his death montage number four. <laughs> after, yeah, after that first sentence, I was like, oh, maybe I should make it a little more specific. Maybe yeah. not in the right direction. Yeah. Based solely on the general response, I'm going to call Maki the unofficial winner of that. I was surprised, uh, to be honest. Um, because I, I agreed with everybody when they said Mac did really well. But the unofficial winner does win an official prize. <laughs> Didn't know there was anything on the line, but I probably should have. I figured that there was going to be something. Like, no, you don't do anything for nothing. You win the strip search redraw ticket. You don't know what this means yet, but you will. And you'll be pleased to have it. I want that redraw ticket. I don't know what it is, but I want it. <laughs> I'm hoping I don't end up just using it tonight, and, but when it does come up, I'm going to be very grateful for it. I feel like that is gonna be a game changer for that guy. I mean, he won the first one. Maybe he won't ever need it. Hopefully he does, because that means he's not gonna win every time. That is relief in a little ticket form. Next time on Strip Search. One hour to design a t-shirt. Well, guess I'm going home. The winner of this challenge received something very special. That is an awesome prize. I can't believe that that's a thing that's actually happening. Five minutes. I am now in panic mode. Time management is not my strong suit. Time. That is time. <laughs>